first opportunity I have, can I say that at a personal level, I want to wish Leo Varadkar well as he moves on. I want to recognise his contribution during COVID, his defence of Morris McCabe, and his statesmanlike and extremely competent handling of Brexit. But Taoiseach, we are now in a new political space, and Leo Varadkar himself has opened that door. And I am calling for a general election for the first time in this administration. Taoiseach, I voted for you, and I voted for Leo Varadkar, because the people spoke four years ago, and I believe in stability. But we now have a faltering government on housing, health, immigration, disability, and the recent referendum. The last time I addressed you was at Leaders, and I asked you about the issue of durable relationships. You told me, all is well, no need to worry. Well, there was need to worry, Taoiseach. And while Fine Gael may need time to regroup, this country, I believe, now needs thank a you, government with a new time mandate. Up. Thank you, Tony. Well, thank you, Deputy. And I think I've dealt with this issue uh, already in the House this morning. And I'm very clear the government is very focused on fulfilling the programme for government. And I think it's an important point that government must always be about policy and substance, not necessarily about personalities. Um, and I've already instanced the planning bill, uh, which you've complained about you know, in terms of the delivery of a whole range of projects. That should be completed. Uh, before any general election. I think the future fund bill, which was passed through Cabinet, is probably the most important, significant, long-term legislative initiative of any government in a long time, which will provide for the future in terms of allocating about 0.8% of GNI to cover pensions into the future, to, to, uh, to cover healthcare costs, to cover infrastructure uh, that will be required. When, say, times get bad, we, we always cut capital. The whole idea of the future fund um, is to make sure on infrastructure and climate, is to make sure that we don't ever have that situation if we can avoid it. That basically we maintain capital levels right on, even in the middle of a recession, if we provide enough money now. And that bill will enable us Thank to give some mechanisms to, to future-proof our society and our economy. That's a very noble thing to do, Thank I you. think, and it's the right thing up, to do. Please. And we want to get this through the House as well. Fine.